You are a smelly pirate hooker. We're basically at December 21st, 2012, and yep. exactly what the potential is at that yep. moment. This is the alignment that everybody's been trying to figure out what it means we're aligned with Galactic Core. It's actually the alignment of the rods. If you don't know that spinning bodies have rods and chambers, you have no idea. I thought I'd make this video to let you know that Ashiana Dean, her DMCA has failed. YouTube has reinstated my video, The Ponage of Ashiana Dean. And this is now the intro to a new video about Ashiana. Oh yes. I mean, I am prepared to accept her apology at any time. I am prepared to accept that she did not necessarily know the full implications of filing a false copyright claim, which basically means she's in serious legal doo-doo. It doesn't matter who we are. What matters is our plan. is the alignment that everybody's been trying to figure out what it means we're aligned with Galactic Core. It's actually the alignment of the rods. If you don't know that spinning bodies have rods and chambers, you have no idea. It's all good and interesting to suggest certain things are true, that certain things are genuinely real, or perhaps even a science if there's proof. But when people come up with these pseudo-scientific nonsenses, and then they throw in this New Age banter, powerful frequency burst through here through the solar gates that will hit our rod as it crosses over and that will make it spin which you spin that rod it's going to spin the whole thing and actually part of it because they're actually already on a spin in the opposite direction part will spin one way and part will spin the other and it would snap the crust and it would be like you know within three day roll and everything gone the, the big guys are only interested in the quantum of energetic food that could be drawn in. They don't even want to play with the little guys, like it's way beyond just the Anunnaki and the Draconians anymore. It's, you know, this is multi-matrix warfare that is happening here. And uh, we've got all sorts involved that were not even in the Voyager's books. We didn't even know about them then. They told us as on a need-to-know basis, by the way, we have Borgia now. By the way, we have Thetans now. By the way, the Thetans are from parallel Earth. Yes, they were part human and part something else over from parallel. It just basically annoys me that they can get away with calling it a science. And the people who believe in it, because it's a question of faith in the end, they will continue to believe and they will call it a science, even though the science is lacking. And either way, we have Thetans now. By the way, the Thetans are from parallel Earth. Yes, they were part human and part something else over from parallel. And they invaded here 75 million years ago as well, right? And tried to take over the planet then. One ugly motherfucker. It's the, the, the level of technology involved in this is just, in my mind, mind blowing. Just looking at, oh my God. You know, what kind of consciousness are we dealing with here? You know, our scientists look like little kindergartners by comparison. That's what I thought. You're a gutless turd. Well, while we back engineered a spaceship, whoopie doo. Words fall from your mouth as shit from ass. That this is not going to happen, and why? It's not going to happen because of what the Guardian groups are doing to intervene. If it weren't for the intervention of the Mashayahanic groups that are the ones from the Aquarian Matrix that are already the Adashi Adepts that have gone through the, the Christar, you know, um, transfiguration. Ashiana gets around this idea of a doomsday and those behind it by having a cop-out clause. A way of getting around it, so even when it doesn't happen, of course, she is still perfectly correct. Create literally a buffer field that will bounce back some of that. It will literally bounce back some of that energy, which is going to be interesting for those on the other end who are throwing it. Because it will bounce it back with probably... What? 
Minimum 12% spin increase. Yeah, okay, 12 times at least. Holding Earth's core open so these gates can still work are going to be pulled back. When that happens, all of this is going to let loose. That Merkab is going to, the, the Death Star will activate. But there's going to be something that happens not too long after that. That's going to happen in 2230 AD. In uh, 2976, there's going to be things that the others have caused to occur in the core that actually the Earth is going to choose the, the path of uh, Kali Ramus step back and it's going to explode. I find your lack of faith disturbing. You know the stupid thing about some of these New Age beliefs? They have less continuity and less realism than some of the most far out and ridiculous science fiction. Go outside the city. In the end, the only purpose of these beliefs and ideas perpetuated by so many New Age thinkers, including Ashiana Dean, is typically to sell a book lectures, get donations and support. It has nothing to do with science, nothing to do with fact. It is simply to do with perpetuation of a belief system. <laughs>